Life is also like a stack of cards where you have a certain amount of cards that you can look at at the time, whether they're values, they're tasks that you want to do your goals. And once you complete one task, card, or goal, it's on to the next one and the next one. It takes time for you to get good at your skills and to develop who you are. And once you're removing these cards that are on top, you can get to the bottom cards. It's an ever-ending deck of cards where each day you live can be a representation of a card. It's something that you get, and just because you get a two, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be a bad day, that you could say it's going to be a good day because I got a pair of twos, or I got trips, or quads, or maybe I got a straight, or maybe you got a royal. When you're learning how to play cards, you're going to learn the basics and fundamentals. You're going to play how you've been taught how to play. You're going to try and copy other people to learn the rules of engagement. And once you learn how to play the game, then you can use your own strategy and play the way that you want to play to gain the outcome that you want in life. And it takes time for you to develop these skills in terms of learning going to school you're going to be learning what they want to teach you you're going to be buying the books that they want you to buy and these other books that can really really help you they're not that expensive uh, they can be twenty dollars and they can teach you a lot about how life really works and you should learn how to play the game so that you don't get played life is like a game of cards you get a hand and you play it to the best of your ability some people will get dealt good hands and some people not so good hands but throughout life on the flop you might be able to pick up these wins and it depends on how you play the game you don't necessarily need the best cards to win the game because you could be bluffing in life and you have to play long enough to see what comes out on the river or what other hands that you can get and just because you lost one hand it doesn't mean that you're gonna lose the next hand. Uh, you will learn, strategize and maybe the luck will turn into your favor and just be able to read yourself and read other people and to see how you can play. You could appreciate how big and strong this tree is and it didn't get like that overnight. And if you could think of yourself in a similar manner that when you're young you're trying to acquire skills and you're not necessarily going to be the strongest or the smartest at the time but over time you could be like that tree where you can learn, you can grow, branch out, you could be beautiful and you would be good. You should do your best to look the best, to educate yourself, to present yourself the best that you can because we all have biases when we're human and if you look at this flower it's really beautiful versus this flower is on its way out they both have value it just depends on what you want to do how you want to look and you could do anything you could be anything that, that you want try to see and you'll you'll figure it out whether you could do it or not how much time do you want to put into what you want to get and we'll we'll see what happens you have the rest of your life to figure things out you have a lot of time you should focus on your sleep because it affects your next day. You could plan certain things out, what you're going to do. You could get your clothes ready, get your backpack ready, make your food so you're not fumbling around in the morning. Wake up, take care of yourself. You could put stickies on your mirror. You could journal, read, listen to audiobooks, go for the walk, and then go to work, have a good day, put in a lot of work to be productive and give value to your country, your company, other people that you work with, provide for your family after work, work out, exercise, learn more, work on your passions, and pretty much rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, that's what you gotta do. Reprogram your mind, be aware of what you're consuming, whether it's food, content, people that surround you, your environment plays a big role. For me, I don't want to take certain risks when I was young. It's a risk not to take a risk and to dwell on failures. Everybody fails. Nobody's that special dog. Just gonna get it on the first shot. It's possible. A lot of the times you would have to put in a work and it will be hard. And a failure, it's an opportunity to learn and grow. 
to see what works and what doesn't work and it's a normal part of the process. Be respectful to yourself. Don't be too harsh. Talk to yourself with uh, kindness, passion and respect. I know that problems don't go away when you get older, they just change. That's how you can have compassion for your past. People in the past that wronged you, whether they're your relationship people or your family members. I made a lot of mistakes in my past and I would ask for forgiveness. I just moved to Sunnyvale and some people, they asked me, my old housemates, my new housemates, they asked me, oh, do you need help moving your stuff? And technically, I didn't need the help. And I just said no because I didn't need it. But if I really, really needed it, then I would have asked. But there would be times in the past where I would want help and I just wouldn't ask for it because I wouldn't feel worthy of the help. And I wouldn't have thought that somebody wanted to help me. But uh, most people, if you think of the good things that happen versus the bad things that happen, the bad things that happen, it happens maybe less than a percent of the time throughout your lifetime. That's why you should be more focused on the more positive things in life. I'm not saying to be oblivious, but uh, focus your energies and your thoughts on where you want to go instead of looking in the past. Focus on the present day instead of being somewhere else. You have to learn how to communicate with yourself, how to be your best friend, be on your side. Life is a balance, it's not black and white. You can't be too comfortable, you can't be too uncomfortable. And you would have to learn how to, how to gauge and hone these kinds of skills and make them subconscious so that you're not necessarily thinking too much about them, that you train so much that it's automatic. It's similar to driving where you just get in and pretty much your, your mind can go somewhere else while you drive. Although you should be aware, you should be paying attention to certain dangers or certain situations. Be alert and put, put in the mental training so that you will be able to handle most kinds of situations and don't be afraid to ask for help when you really need it because everybody can rely on other people to a certain extent. I remember working for a company and I had a midlife where I was thinking, oh, I'm getting older. What should I be doing with my life? And I had some reflections and I thought I should be helping people. That's why I decided to go to nursing school at the time. And you could be in any position and you'd be able to help people because you could be on a software team building software to help people. You could be in a hospital helping people. You could be doing maintenance helping people with their daily lives, those kinds of things. And it depends on what your purpose is, where you want to go with your life. And you have the opportunities, you have freedom, technology, all of your blessings, and you will be okay. When I was a kid, I hated myself because I didn't like my name. I didn't like that I was poor. I didn't like that I was Asian because I was a loner. I didn't speak an Asian language. I had an avoidant family and it took me I would say 39 years to really wake up because that's when I stripped all of the relationships away from me. I got dumped. I lost my job. I was going to school at the time. I had a ton load of debt. And I think these bad experiences, they bring so much pain that I would want to change and I would use that fuel to learn and grow and to wake up and see what life is really about because when you're young, you think you have a lot of time, but you don't because you would have to be grinding and it determines your quality of life and what you'll have, what you'll be able to do, your freedoms in life. Do you know why I tell you my problems? I had bad communication. I grew up without my mother. I had self-love, self-confidence problems, depression, those kinds of things because I want you to know that they don't necessarily go away with time and I'm not perfect. And I'm not only focused on the negatives because there are good things about me and I think that uh, through trials and your tribulations that you grow and you learn and you would be able to help specific people with their problems and you would be able to relate with them. You would have kindness and compassion and just be more accepting of yourself. Have faith in faith that things happen for a reason that you're in the location doing what you're supposed to be doing at that time, you're training. And it takes time to improve and you'll get there and I hope you guys have a blessed day.
they want to tell you that a degree is important and for me I never used my degree and it's more of my fault a lot of things that I learned they were learned on the job and throughout society and time they tell you what is important what is important to you that may be different and you would have to determine what is important for you versus what is important for them what benefits you and what benefits them when I was a kid I used to read Bruce Lee quotes and he said don't speak negatively about yourself and don't cast spells because your body doesn't know the difference I did understand it at the time that I shouldn't be doing it but didn't necessarily implement it because I didn't understand why I was doing those kinds of things because I had a limited mindset and my parents they were more pessimistic side I grew up poor and he was focused on saying don't speak negatively when he could have said speak more positively to yourself or be your best friend learn how to communicate with yourself and I think these kinds of skills they're not learned until later on in life because I know when I was young I had to go to school I had to you know get jobs go to college those kinds of things they overload you with tasks that may or may not matter I was watching a Viking TV show on Netflix and the English king killed all of the Vikings because he wanted to cleanse his land and the Vikings from different areas they all gathered up and they said we need to avenge our Vikings that were killed. What they didn't tell the common man was they wanted to go to war to gain riches to gain land. You would always have to be aware of the different angles of how people are speaking to you, how they're trying to manipulate you. Even your friends or your family or businesses, strangers, they're gonna want your time, your resources, and your attention. Those are your most valuable currencies to them. And if you think about money, it's a stored value. And how do you get it? Is you're creating value with your talent, your time. On a chessboard, you have different pieces that have different functions and purposes. What if we can all unite? We're all different, but we could unite. We would be strong. Versus if you're divided, then you would be weak. It could be reprogramming, con consuming certain things that are dividing you, are making you afraid, or they're making you not want to associate with certain people. That takes a lot of energy out of you. I think you can learn from these books to self-improve and think independently on your own because most information that I learn it's not necessarily from school because a lot of the things that they teach there it's not useful in all practicality other than like writing English or the math that you learn it's basic math basic English fitness biology those kinds of things if you believe that all humans are children of God created everything he created different kinds of people that speak different languages of different religions i'm not super religious because i didn't grow up like that as a kid in my family and i had distress issues for my family if you think of all of the books of the teachings they're all pretty similar right that they would teach you how to be a good person everybody has problems it's not i'm better than you or you're better than me some people have more than others all working on certain things we all have gifts i was wondering what if it was one god his name might be different his religion might be different his skin color might be different but if it's our entity right